Hello, my name's Axel Foley. I'm looking for... Hello. Welcome to the Beverly Hills Police Department. To continue this message in English, press one pound. If you have homeless people on your lawn, press two star. Ah! Lights, camera, action. Welcome to Troy Hill Talks, where we don't shy away from calling out cinematic misses. Today, we're dissecting the lackluster world of Beverly Hills Cop 3. Brace yourselves for a roller coaster of disappointment as we unravel the sequel's missteps. First off, let's address the absence of Taggart, a glaring omission that left fans feeling disconnected from the original dynamic that made the series so memorable. Without this crucial element, this film struggles to capture the essence of what made the first two installments so beloved. Moving on to the special effects, or lack thereof, it's hard to ignore the outdated and underwhelming visuals that fail to deliver any sense of excitement or immersion. From unconvincing explosions to poorly executed action sequences, the film falls short in bringing the audience into its world. And let's not forget about the performances with lackluster acting that fails to evoke any emotional connection or engagement. Beverly Hills Cop 3 leaves much to be desired in terms of character development and on-screen chemistry. To top it all off, we're faced with a forgettable and uninspired villain that lacks the charisma and menace needed to drive the plot forward. Without a compelling antagonist to challenge our hero, the stakes feel low and the tension falls flat. Beverly Hills Cop 3 stumbles in its execution, failing to recapture the magic of its predecessors and ultimately delivering a lackluster and forgettable experience. Our call to action? Save yourself the disappointment and revisit the earlier films in the series for a truly satisfying cinematic experience. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to hit that subscribe button for more candid movie reviews here on Troy Hill Talks.